going to read you the story of the adventures of Smarty the Penguin. It was late at night and Smarty the Penguin was wide awake. He was too excited to sleep because tomorrow was his birthday. He was really hoping to be given a new tablet. The next day came and Smarty had really enjoyed his birthday party. He had saved his most exciting looking present until the end. Oh, I really hope this is a tablet of my own, he thought as he began to open it. Smarty tore off the wrapping paper in a hurry. Mummy and Daddy Penguin had bought him a brand new tablet. Just what he wanted. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Smarty's parents enjoy using the internet and are always there to help Smarty. Smarty was allowed to play a game on his tablet once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Mummy Penguin helped Smarty to find his favourite game and he was off. Everything was going well and Smarty was having a super time when all of a sudden something very strange happened. A picture popped up on the screen. It was colourful and Smarty didn't know what to do. Oh no, thought Smarty. Did I click the wrong buttons? Have I broken the tablet? Are Mummy and Daddy going to be cross with me? Can you help Smarty make the right decision? Should he try and fix the problem by himself and get rid of the picture? Or should he ask his parents for help? Maybe you can tell a grown-up next to you what you think. Help! cried Smarty. Daddy! Mummy! Please help me! Something's gone terribly wrong. There's a funny picture on my screen and I don't know where it came from. Well done, Smarty, said Daddy Penguin. What a clever little penguin you are. Well done for asking for help and not trying to fix it yourself. Mummy Penguin was so pleased with what Smarty had done, she taught him a song to help him make sensible choices on the internet in the future. It goes like this. Now if you can, see if you can try and click your fingers. It goes like this. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. I'll do that again, see if you can join in and click your fingers. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Mummy Penguin deleted the picture that had popped up and Smarty continued to play on his tablet. The next morning, Smarty rushed downstairs to play a game online. Daddy Penguin was already up and about. He was reading his newspaper in the kitchen. Smarty went on the internet, but something had changed. This wasn't right. Smarty was very confused. Hang on a minute, he thought to himself. I know what's happened. My big brother, Bertie, has been using my tablet without asking me. I can see Bertie there. Hmm. Does look like he's been using the tablet. Maybe he's put something on, something different. Smarty knew that this was a website for much older children. He thought that he might know what to do to find his favourite game and which buttons to press. But on the other hand, hmm, he wasn't too sure. What should Smarty do? Should he try and find the right website by himself? Or should he ask for help? Try and fix it himself. Let's find out. Let's help Smarty to make the right decision by singing Mummy Penguin's song. One, two, three. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell 
someone. Let's do that again. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Help, shouted Smarty. Mummy, Daddy, please help me. I'm trying to find my game, but Bertie changed it. Smarty, replied Mummy Penguin, you are a superstar. You did just the right thing by asking for help and not trying to find the website by yourself. Mummy Penguin helped Smarty get back to his game and everything was fine again. Later on that afternoon, can you guess what Smarty was doing? That's right, Smarty was back playing online with his friends, trying to get to the top of the leaderboard. He was getting better and better at his favourite game. All of a sudden, the other players started saying unkind things and being mean to Smarty's friend, Percy. One player said, You're not very good at this game, are you? Ha ha! It wasn't very kind, was it? The other player continued to talk. I don't want you playing our game anymore, they teased. Percy quickly left the game and Smarty felt sad. He didn't understand why they were being mean to Percy. Oh, this doesn't sound good, does it? He just wanted to have a nice game. Now Percy's upset. What should Smarty do? Should he ignore the messages? Or should he tell Mommy and Daddy instead? Let's help Smarty to make the right decision by singing his special song. One, two, three. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Daddy Penguin! Mummy Penguin! called Smarty. The other players are being mean to Percy and not letting him join our game. What shall I do? Oh, Smarty, you have been so sensible, said Daddy Penguin. Unfortunately, not everyone is nice on the internet and sometimes other players can say mean things. If this happens to you or one of your friends, then you should always tell us and we can help by blocking the player. Remember, it is just as important to be nice to someone online as it is in the real world. We want everyone to feel welcome and happy when using the internet. From that day on, Smarty the Penguin always knew how to be safe when using his tablet and playing on the internet. If anything happened that made him feel worried, upset, or confused, he didn't try and fix things by himself. He stopped, he thought about what to do, and he always asked an adult for help. Let's have a go again. Have you got your clicking fingers ready? Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell some one. Smarty's message to you. I am very lucky because I have Mummy and Daddy Penguin to help me. But who can help you? Can you think of some grown-ups that you could talk to?